So in this video, I'm going to build a table of Dirichlet characters modulo 18. Now, if you check the link below, you'll see where I've done some similar examples of Dirichlet tables. OK, so modulo 18. How are we going to go about finding that? Well, first of all, we need a set of co-prime integers to 18. So I'm going to call that set S. Now, we need to know how many elements and also what those elements are. So to know the number of elements, first of all, we can use Euler's totient function, sometimes known as Euler's phi function. So here we've got modulo 18. Now, just going straight in with the formula for this one, I do 18 times one minus. Now, what I need here is the reciprocal of the prime factors of 18. So 18, prime factors of that is 2 times 3 squared. So 2 and 3 are my prime factors of 18. So first of all, 2. So let's put in the reciprocal of 2. So that's that one. And the next one, I want the reciprocal of 3. 1 minus 1 over 3. How this comes about, you'll see in the previous videos that I did about these tables. That will explain how this formula works. OK, so now this is just simple multiplication now. 18 times a half times two thirds it gives me 36 over 6, which equals 6. So I know there's six elements in this set. OK, let's go about building this set now, knowing there's six elements in there. So one is always good. Now, our next number is co-prime to 18. Three is not, five will be. Seven, that's co-prime. Nine is not, 11 is. 13 is, 15 is not, but 17 is. So they're the numbers of my set S that are gonna help me build my table. Okay, now what we need to do is to work out the order of each of these elements of this set. And we also need to find out which are the generators of this set as well. So let's go straight into that. So first of all, let's test one. So one to the power of one is one, one to the power of two is always one. So therefore this uh, element is always, always of order one. So if I draw a little table N and the order, first of all, number one is of order one. Then I get my other ones ready in my table and then we can fill in the values of the order of these as we go along. Okay, five, let's try that. So I'll just write order one here, that's easiest one taken care of. So five, five to the power of one. So we need a congruence modulus 18. So five to the power of one is five, which is of course congruent to five. Then we want five squared, which is 25, modulus 18, that's congruent to 7. 5 cubed. Now, instead of trying to work out 5 cubed, I can just multiply this by 5. So I'll just write 5 cubed. 7 fives are 35. So whatever that is will be congruent with 35, modulo 18. And then to get it down to its lowest value will be 17. So that takes care of that. Now let's have a look at 5 to the 4. Times is 17 by 5, I get 85. Modulo 18, so 4 18s are 72, so that's modulo, that's uh, equivalent to 13. And then 5 to the 5, 5 13s are 65. Modulo 18, that's congruent to 11. And 5 to the 6, 5 11s are 55 which is congruent to one modulo 18. So as all these powers here, the largest power is six, this set here of a number five is of order six. So therefore number five is a generator. So I'm gonna circle that one. That's gonna be important to us. Okay, let's try seven. Seven to the power of one is congruent with seven. Seven squared, that equals 49. So 49 modulo 18, that's congruent to 13. Seven cubed, seven times 13 is 91. 
So that's going to give me congruent to 1. So therefore 7 is of order 3. Now let's go to 11. 11 to the 1 is congruent to 11. 11 squared, that's 121. Modulo 18. So 108 we're going to use, that's going to give us congruent to 13. 13 times 11 is 143. So 143 modulo 18, that's going to give me 17. 11 to the 4. 17 times 11 is 187. So modulo 18, that's going to be congruent to 7. So this is looking like it's going to create the set. So 11 to the 5 is congruent. 7 11 to 77, which gives me 5. And then 11 to the 6, that will be congruent with 1. So that's the only one that's left in the set, so we know that's going to be 6. We could have stopped here at 5 once we know 4 worked, because once you get to 5, we know then that all the other elements will be generated and 11 will be a generator. So 11 is a generator of order 6. OK, let's try 13. So 13 to the 1 is congruent to 13. 13 squared is 169, modulo 18. So that's going to give us 7. And 13 cubed, 7 13s are 91. So that's going to give me 1. So therefore, this one here is of order 3. 13 is of order 3. So therefore, 17 must be of order 2 by the rules of groups. So let's just check it. 17, 17 to the 1 is congruent with 17. 17 squared is 289. Well, 18 times by 16 is 288. So therefore, that's congruent with 1. Hence, my suspicions were correct. It's of order 2. OK, right, let's take these numbers off the board now and then we'll go to the next stage of this table collation. OK, so we've got our table here for our elements here from 1 to 17 and we'll see here 5 and 11 are of order 6. So there'll be six different solutions in their entries on the table. 7 will have three different entries as will 13. 17 will have two different entries and 1 will have one entry while well, they will all be 1. So if there's six solutions, if we go onto the complex plane and work out what those six different solutions will be, we've got the imaginary numbers and the real numbers. So for six solutions, we'll always have positive one and minus one, and then two pairs of conjugate solutions, which are mirrored along the real axis. So we'll have one along here, which is e to the i pi over 3. And we'll have one here, which is e to the 2i pi over 3. And then the conjugate of this one will be e to the minus i pi over 3. And one here mirroring this one, which will be the e to the minus 2i pi over 3. OK, so... We can break these down, we'll call these into omega. So there will be plus or minus omega, plus or minus omega squared, and then plus or minus one. So that's how we will break them down onto our tables. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this off the board, I'm gonna develop the table, and I'm gonna start filling in some entries on that table. Okay. OK, so I've set up my Dirichlet characters table and we're going to see how we build it up and using the order of these, we can check as we're going along if we're doing correctly and no mistakes are happening. So to build this table, first of all, we need to know some properties of Dirichlet characters. So chi of n times chi of m, that equals, so... Multiplying these together, we get n and m in the same value for our chi, so n times m. And then that will always be congruent to the modulus. So, for example, n and m 
if we have, say let's use in this table, 5 and let's say 17, that will give us chi of 85, and as we're dealing modulus 18, that will be equal to chi of 13. So 5 and 17, if we multiply 5 by 17, we should get our value in 13. So let's use that property and see how far we can get on this table. So let's start off with our 5 first, because that's of order 6. So we've got 1 omega omega squared minus omega squared minus omega and minus 1. So we've got the six different elements inside the result there for 5. Now the next thing we can do is we can fill all these values for 1. So 1, all the values along these lines will always give us 1. So that's the property I went to in the previous video, which you can see the link below. Okay, now 17 is of order 2. So there's only two solutions. So when there's only two solutions, it's only 1 or minus 1. So I'm going to go 1 minus 1 down here in alternate order. So 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1, 1 minus 1. Now I'm going to use this property here and copy in this rule here. So 5 and 17. So if I multiply this one with this one, that should give me my value for 13. Now minus 1 times omega will give me minus over omega. So that's my entry into there. Multiplying this one by one, get omega squared. Minus one times minus omega squared gives me omega squared. Minus omega times one is minus omega. And minus one times minus one is positive one. Okay, so I can see here there is only three different solutions for 13. 13 is of order three. I'm happy with that. So that's good. I can tick that. I'm going to tick my 17 and I'm going to tick my 5. Okay, let's have a look at 5 and 13. 5, 13 is a 65, so that should give me then this column. So let's just write that property down. Chi of 5 times chi of 13. That should give me chi of 65, which equals chi of 11 as with mod 18. Okay, so 5 and 13. So omega times minus omega gives me minus omega squared. Omega squared times omega squared, that's omega to the 4, which is negative omega. Okay, now minus omega squared times omega squared gives me the uh, conjugate of that, which will give me omega. Okay, now minus omega times minus omega, that will give me omega squared. And here I've got minus 1 times 1, that gives me minus 1. Okay, now the only one left to fill in now is 7. So that should come along by multiplying some of these to get a modulus of 7. So let's have a look what we can get. So we can get 25. That is going to give me 7. So we can use another property here. So let's go here. Chi of n squared. That should give me chi of n times chi of n. OK, so if I square it, it will still give me n times n, which is also congruent to the result of whatever n squared is. So in this case, 5 squared is 25. 25 will give me 7. So I'll just write that down here. Chi of 5 times chi of 5. That equals chi of 25, which gives me chi of 7. OK, so now let's do these values in here. So omega times omega is omega squared. Omega squared times omega squared is omega to the power of 4. Now, as we've worked out before, that is also negative omega. 
negative omega squared. Now that will also give me negative omega. And negative omega times negative omega will give me positive omega squared. And oh, let's make that two look a little bit neater for you guys. And minus one squared is positive one. OK, so let's check the order of all these elements in the table. So one is of order one. So that's put that on one there. That's good. Five. There is six different solutions. So that's good. Seven has got one, two, three, three solutions. And 11 has got one, two, three, four, five, six different solutions. 13 has got three, as we checked before. And 17 has got two. So all these in this box are checked. So if you can see any errors, put in the comments below. But that's my table of Dirichlet characters, modulo 18. Okay, thanks for watching.